So for today, we are doing addition, but you know how we always talk about addition and we say, in addition, we put two numbers together to get a bigger number? Well, now we're moving on the first grade addition, and those two numbers actually have a special word. They are called add-ins. Add-ins. So now this is hard because we've been online and we've been learning all these new words. Today it's going to be add-ins. That's a math word. We have learned some. That's another math word, and that's the answer in addition. We have learned difference. That's subtraction. So when you get the first grade, you know how to do all this. You know how to add and subtract. But now you need to learn all the new math words. I'm going to share my screen. We are doing addition today. All right, everybody can see. Good, 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 good. Add-ins are the parts of an addition equation that are added. Add-ins, those are the two numbers that you put together. So it says that add-ins are the part of the addition equation. So remember, part, part, whole, part, part, whole, now is add in, add in, sum. What? The same thing, but new words. This cube train shows four red cubes and two blue cubes. Four and two are add-ins. The two parts are four and two. And the part is the add-in. It is another fancy math word. What is the sum of the add-ins? The sum. What is the sum of the add-ins? So when I ask you the question, how many are there in all, I'm asking you the same question as what is the sum? The sum is how many are in all. So what is the sum of the cube train here? Jaden and cousin. <laughs> he says six. Oh yeah? He is right, the sum is six. The sum is six, and you found that by counting them all. The sum is six. You can change the order of the add-ins. The sum is the same. All right. You can change the order of the add-ins. So you can change the two parts, and the sum will always be the same. The whole will always be the same. Now we did this way back when, and let me tell you, the kids had their minds blown. They couldn't even believe that you could just move the numbers around and it would be the same thing. <laughs> the cube train on the top shows four red cubes and two blue cubes. That shows four and two is six. What does the cube train on the bottom show? So the top one has four red and two blue, and we knew that four and two is six. Part, part, whole. Add in, add in, sum. Now, what does the bottom cube train show? Take a look at the cube train on the bottom, the colors, the numbers, and let me know what you are thinking. Emilia? There are two blue cubes and four red cubes that show two plus four is six. Yep. Amelia said two blue cubes. Wait, why did everyone disappear? All right, you're back. There are two blue cubes and four red cubes, and she said the total is six. And she was right. And that's kind of like the top one. So we're, we need to do some investigating over here to see what's the same about them. 
The bottom train shows two blue cubes and four red cubes. That shows two and four is six. Thank you, Amelia. How are the trains different? So look at the two cube trains, the top and the bottom. How are they different? How are they different? Alana? The blue is first and the red is second. Yes, and on the top one, which one comes first? The red one and the blue one. There you go. That is the biggest thing that is different. Now let's talk about how they are the same. There's one thing that's the same about them. What's the same about them? What are we thinking? Let me scroll and see who is paying attention. They keep sending me emails. Amelia. Um, the numbers are the same and the colors are the same. They just, the colors just come at different times. Yes, they are in a different order, but they're the same. There's still two blue cubes, and there are still two, I mean, four red cubes. There's also one more thing that's the same. When you put these two numbers together, what is the same? Oh, I see John Carlos. John Carlos. John Carlos, you didn't raise your hand. I thought I saw it. No, he did, but it was to hand me something. Oh, I was like, someone else is participating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> that's okay. I see Alana. Alana. Um, because it, it has the same six, the same number. Yes, the sum or the whole is still six in both cube chains. And that is an awesome observation by our mathematician, Alana. How are they alike? The order of the cubes is different. So that's what Emilio was saying. The, nu the numbers, the colors just come in a different time. The order is different. On the top one, the red comes first, and in the bottom one, the blue comes first. They are alike because they have the same number of cubes. Thank you, Alana. You can write two addition equations. All right, so now they took the cube train and they wrote an addition equation. Two of them. Do they show the add-ends and sum? Remember, the add-ends are the two parts. Do the, the addition equations show the add-ends? You can give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Alana saying yes. Alana is right. They do show both. Thank you, thank you, Giovanni's eating. We lost Jaden somewhere along the way. I see John Carlos has a thumbs up. Yep. Both addition equations show the add-ins, the two parts, four red and two blue. Two blue and four red. Do they show the sum? Alana shaking her head. Yes, remember the sum is the answer, the whole, the number you get when you put the two parts, four add-ins, together. How are the addition equations different? Now, just like we observed our cube trains, our equations are different. But well, what's different about them? There's only one special thing that is different about them. I'll read them to you. 
the top one says four plus two equals six. The bottom one says two plus four equals six. So what's different about them? Alana? The four, the two, and the six. Yep, in the top one, the four comes first. And in the bottom one, the two comes first. And this is so important. Remember that when we're reading is top to bottom, left to right. So that's how you know which number comes first, the number that's all the way on the left side. Yes, the equations show the add ends four and two and the sum six. The add ends are in a different order. Look at the addition facts. Do they show the same add ends and sum? So now our addition equations are going top to bottom. And this is where you see your first grade math. I see Alana has thoughts. She's shaking her head. Yes, that it is the same. Amelia is agreeing with her and you both are correct. Yes, the same numbers are shown in a different order. You see four plus two equals six and also two plus four equals six. You have just learned that when you change the order of the add-ins, the sum remains the same. Wow, that was such a fun lesson. Okay, I have a question like, this is our question before you go. What is the first grade math word for the two parts in an addition equation? I see Giovanni, Giovanni. Say what you said. Say it. Okay. Two. Two. No, no, you didn't say that. You said the word. The word, the word for the part. Word. The two numbers. What two is, numbers. What are the, what are the, what's the name for the two numbers? You just said it. Two numbers, 10. Frame. No. Not our time frame. It's okay if you don't remember. Today is the first day of learning that new word. Okay? I see Alana. Alana, do you remember that word? What are they? What, what are the two numbers? Two numbers? Yeah, instead of calling them parts, what do you call them? Add in. Yes, add-ins. That's our new first grade word. Okay. Alana, you are free to go. That was your ticket out. <laughs> okay, next math question. What is the first grade word for the answer of an addition problem? also known as the whole. Emilia? The sum. The sum! Thank you, Emilia. You are free to go. Bye. <laughs> okay, Giovanni, are you ready for your question? What is the first grade word for the two parts in an addition equation. Okay, okay. You said it. Your friend said it. Okay, okay. <laughs> he was really thinking. You, you almost had it. Okay, you said okay. it earlier. Okay. You said it. No, you said it. No, you, you. No, say it. What, do you know the answer? Yes, okay, he what is it? Yes. 
Okay. Do you know the answer? No. You don't know what? Your friend said it earlier. Okay. The two numbers. Two. The two numbers. The, the two, what's the name of the two numbers that you add? More numbers? No. <laughs> Giovanni, mirror words. My turn and then your turn. Part? Part. 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 Add in. Add in. Say the word. Summer? Yep. Summer? You got it. The word is add in. Add in. Say it. Add in. All right, Giovanni, you are free to go. Goodbye. Bye. Bye, hon.